Hello, ladies. Sharon's here. I am so glad you joined me today. Guess what today is? Today is July and August favorites. Since I didn't have enough uh, in July, I decided to combine it with August so I would have more to show you and I knew I had some other new stuff coming in and I wanted to try that out as well. So, to those of you that are new to my channel today, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. I invite you to scroll on down, hit that subscribe button. Girlfriend, you'll be a member of my tribe. It doesn't cost you a thing. And after you subscribe, I invite you to go ahead and ring that bell. And that'll be notifying you of my upcoming videos. And I generally film twice a week. Okay, my ladies, July and August favorites, here we go. You know, we're right around the corner now. Fall's getting ready to start. I have to tell you about my number one product of all, through all of these two months. And it is the new Jeffree Star palette. I'm not kidding. For a mature woman, this is the answer to our prayers. I'm wearing this today. Every single bit of it are neutrals. Now, if you get an accompanying palette with it, which will cost you extra, uh, you're going to have some sheens in there. In order to just put a, a little sheen, a satin, or whatever on your eyelids, I'm sure you have tons and tons of palettes to do that. But this palette, every bit of it is all neutrals. Have you ever in your life? I mean, I'm going to tell you something. I love Jeffrey to death. However, he kind of caters to a younger crowd. A crowd that's really heavily into makeup and the different looks and this and that. So, when everybody was screaming and hollering, we older women, that can, I'm looking at this mirror on this side. I'll have to show you in a minute. This is a great mirror. Look at that mirror. It's huge. Do you see that? Okay. But anyway, <laughs> we have written him so many times saying, when are you going to put a palette out for his mature ladies, you know? And I'll tell you, there, there is every kind of neutral in this palette. I mean, every single one. Everything from, from black to every different colors of browns. You have got all kinds of light browns, you've got taupe, you name it, and and what about a base color? You know how we older women always like a base color in our palettes and we don't always get them? This is every base color we could possibly want. Like I said, I'm wearing this look today. It went on like that. It's easy. I will tell you this, I didn't notice so much fallout, but but when you're dipping your brush into these, you're you're going to stir up some dust. Do you see what I mean? So you just have to kind of gently touch it. It takes very little. These are the most highly pigmented shadows I have I've used in a long, long time. Um, it just didn't take a second to do that. I only have two colors on. <laughs> it was that quick and easy. And I'm telling you, gorgeous. Now, out of this today, I took the, uh, where was it, vanilla latex, and I did my sweep all over my eye. For my transition line, I used top, okay, I used the color top, and then the outer corner in my V, I used the craving chocolate right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ladies, I'm telling you, I'm having a blast with this. And since I got it, I, I have been wearing this almost every day. It's a beautiful palette. It's cute. It's, well, you know, it's Jeffrey, okay? What can I tell you? Another thing from Jeffrey that I absolutely swear by is his concealer. I mentioned this in one of my other videos. I'm trying to see if I can see the color. Yeah, this is, I think... 113. I don't have my glasses here. So it's 113. This is great. It's cute as it can be. It's just pretty for a princess. Yes, it is. But the thing about it is, this 
has a little flat dough pad, a, a, li, a little fat, flat <laughs> dough pad, and you can just press it just like this. I use my damp beauty blender to push the product in, and it is not drying. There are a million colors. I'm telling you a million of these colors. And it lasts forever, and it doesn't dry out your under eye. I, I am all over this right now. I mean, I have taken, I've gotten rid of everything. This is my holy grail right now. Love it. All right. Now let's move on. I want to hit a little bit on some hourglass. As I've told you guys, when I do my eyes and I conceal, I don't want some drying or I don't want something that's going to cake. So, because I have enough trouble with my eyes as it is right now. And uh, I choose the dim light in the hourglass and the diffuse light. Now, these are finishing powders. There are, there's a difference in the other powders and a finishing powder. The finishing powder sets your whole face, and it's great right under the eye because it's gentle and delicate enough, and it's not thick. This stuff is wonderful. I don't know whether you can see it on my finger right here. But I mean, it is so pretty. Look at that. You can't even tell. It just blends right into your skin. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, I use both of the dim light and the diffused light. The dim light is probably my very, very favorite for under the eye, but that sets everything. Then I take a big brush, I just go all around, and then I just lightly brush all around my face. This is the finishing powder that settles your face and makeup down, and just everything falls into place. It just looks like one. If you understand what I'm saying, one, it just looks together. And, and it's beautiful. You know how I am about hourglass. I swear by hourglass. The powders are to die for. Okay, another thing that I want to talk about is a little Charlotte here. Now, Charlotte came out with the airbrush bronzer. The, the one is the fair and two is the uh, medium here. Well, I did not think... Now, mind you, mind you, let, let's keep in mind of Charlotte, what my very favorite is the film star, okay? This is my, my favorite bronzer here. So, this is the medium. Can you see the difference in colors here? Okay, let me hold it up a little bit like that. All right, the lady said, oh, no, no, Miss Kate Bard, you definitely want the medium. Well, I tell you, I thought she was kind of all wet at first. Uh, I'm not going to say this is better than, um, you know, my film star bronze. Um, because I'm so hung up on that. When I get hung up on something and I love it, I am true blue. I am I'm faithful. But I take my brush here and I can go around and it gives me a little more warmth. I think in the fall, this is going to be really pretty. A little additive. And see, it didn't make me look too bronzy, did it? Hmm. Not too orangey, I don't think. Tell me if you all see it that way, because what I'm looking at is, looks nice. This is terrific. I, her powders are to die for her bronzers. I'm just telling you. And, oh, my gosh. I mean, her, you know, well, I don't want to go into that because I'm going to be doing a big, you know, uh, Charlotte video really soon. But, you know, I've got every product she ever put out, and, and, and there's not very many that I don't like. And one of my very favorite correctors right now that I'm very faithful to is a Charlotte Tilbury corrector. It's a little tiny compact like this. And let me show you. I can't remember the color. I'll have to look on the bottom to tell you. Oh, I just stuck my nail in here. Oh, are you serious? And made a... Uh, made a dent in here. 
Look at that girl's club. I did. Okay, let me rub it out. I'm going to rub it out a little bit. Anyway, this is like a corrector for under the eye. And as you can see, I pat it on just like yay under my eyes. It has just a little bit of a tint, just enough. You know, that colors up all my blue and any kind of dark lines I have under there and any kind of darkness. Because, you know, as we get older, we get the darkness in the corners and everywhere. Love this, love this, love this. Got a little, you know, mirror in it too. And, of course, <laughs> a line where Sharon stuck her finger out. Um, but this is number one. I use the, the fair. Uh, if you go any darker on this, you better kind of have more, a lot of olive in your skin because it's it's not like the bronzer. This goes on a little darker. Love it. Love this corrector. Cannot be without it. Love it. Gee, how many times did I say love? Okay, Charlie. <laughs> the next thing I want to tell you guys is I want to get into a little bit of skincare. You know me. That's my forte. I have told you all about this product before. It's the Obagi Hydrate Lux Moisture Cream. You all know I've gone on and on about this for years. And it, it's a nice, huge container. Last fall ever. And you talk about the best moisturizer on the market. This Obagi is truly. Now, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of you have... have over the years have bought some because I kept swearing about it and you love it too and that's fine put it down in the comment sections I want everybody to know how you love this it's pricey but it'll last forever and ever it'll last you almost a year that's how rich this is it is the best moisturizer ever it is creamy it is smooth it's so luxurious when you go to bed ha, ha, you, I'm telling you, you know it's working. You can just feel it. It's just gorgeous. I've been using that for years and years, and that truly is my very, very favorite of all. So, i got to tell you, and I've really been packing it on this summer because the way the weather has been, my skin started drying out in little patches everywhere, too. And I thought, well, what's that all about? That's weird. Can't have that. So... You know, I'm, I've been real faithful to my uh, moisturizer right now. Okay, the next thing that I truly love, um, Tasha sent me this cleanser. Let me tell you something. I love this company anyway. You guys know that. You guys know I beat this drum all I can. I like it because of the products that are in this. This has... A rice consistency, a rice water in this, in the how to say, it has the uh, algae formula, and I mean, I can go down the line. There's three main products in this. This is a brand new rice wash. It's not the little uh, rice, you know, that I've told you about, you know, how we mix water with it, the, you know. And not the rice powder. This is the new rice wash. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Honey, if you've got dry skin, stand in line and grab this. Now, even my oily girls are swearing by this. But for us dry girls, run, not walk. Let me just show you this. And I bet I'm not going to be able to wipe it off once I squirt a little bit. Of, I'll squirt just a little bit. Now, mind you, you see that? You're not going to need much more than that when you wash your face because look what it does. It spreads out just like a cream and you can feel the little rice. Oh gosh, it smells so good. The little rice granules in there. Oh my gosh. I mean, this doesn't even take the size of a nickel for me to do my whole complete face and you add a little water to it and it just lathers and lathers and lathers. This is the most gorgeous stuff ever. But how genius to put the rice powder in with it. Oh my gosh, that, girlfriend, that saves us a step. Do you see what I mean? Remember I used to talk about, you know, a lot of my double cleansing. 
Well, I had to do it the way that I was putting my cleanser on first. Then I had to use my rice powder and, you know, put water in it, lather it up. You know, I've shown you. But now this is all in one. <laughs> they must have seen my videos. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they do. They watch them. I love Tasha. This, this product is off the chain. Not only does it smell good. How many ounces? Four fluid ounces. Oh my gosh. This is so yummy. I mean, this is pH a neutral cream cleanser. Rice and hyaluronic acid. Oh, it just gently purifies your skin. The rich foam you get is to die for. Girlfriends, my favorite, 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 favorite. I have thrown everything away except this. Because this is doing double work. No, oh, it's just too much. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, and the smell. And I'll be demonstrating all that to you too. Because you guys know that I am... A Tasha nut. I mix all of the Tasha products that I use as well with my medical grade. And my skin comes out just looking like, forget it. Fabulous! Okay, now let's talk a little bit. It's another Tasha product that I want you on the bandwagon about. Is the One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. Girlfriends, really? Oh, this smells so good, and it's got a pump, and let me tell you what I use it for. Just like it says, it's my oil cleanser. Now, at night, I wash all my, I wet all my face all over. The first thing I do is squirt this oil in my hands. Doesn't take much. Rub it together. Rub it all over my face. Take a little water, mix it in. This, too can build up a nice oily leather down my neck, down my decollete, the whole nine yards. Gorgeous. That's my first step before I move to my cleanser or the cleanser of your choice. I love it. It's so, it just prepares my skin. It removes everything. And you know, not every oil can take off everything. I've used other oils, and I sit there and sometimes do three rinses before I can ever get all the oil off. It is ridiculous. I'm going, oh my God, I'm spending half the night ready to move to, you know, part two in my <laughs> cleansing, you know, situation here and routine, and then I can't get the oil off to move to the next routine. It's craziness. So, step by step, I want it to do what it says it's going to do, and it does. And you will love it. Your skin's so baby soft and gorgeous. Because right now, I'm preparing my my skin for fall. Um, I'm getting rid of any dry patches, um, any kind of, you know, sun damage stuff. Now, I'm really going to work and beating it to death. Because I want my skin to look fabulous. Um... And it could be I have a birthday next week. I'll be, what, 72 years old. And uh, my skin is everything to me. I mean, that well, what are you going to let at 72, right? I mean, we're not going to walk out and our bodies look fabulous. Well, some of us might, you know. But <laughs> the majority of the women, we try to preserve our face is what we try to do. That's our gig. All right, the next thing, and I want to move on to that, because I can go on and on. You guys know that. And this is another Tasha product. And this is the Tasha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Now, I've told you guys about this. This is not my first rodeo with this. I've been doing this now for, well, almost a couple of years. I love this mist. And so, when I get through doing all of my makeup, I spray this like just, just like you would, you know, uh, your your Urban Decay or whatever, you know, you're using to hold your makeup on. But this gives me a real pretty luminous look. I've had people come up to me and say, Oh, your skin's not too glowy. It's just enough. It's so healthy looking. Girl, this is the health right here. This is what gives it just that little bit of healthy glow. Not only that... This pampers your skin. This brings moisture to your skin. But you cannot be without this. Now, I use it on my decollete, my shoulders, if I'm wearing something sleeveless, 
but definitely on my decollete and down, especially with the summer, you know, because, you know, you, you show a lot of decollete in the summers. But guess what? This looks fantastic over a fake tan. Oh, my gosh. My granddaughter came over, and the only thing she wanted to do when she walked in the house was grab this. And, of course, you know, she has, you know, beautiful golden skin anyway. And this, to make it shine, says I want everybody to think I just got out of Bermuda or something. I said, yeah, right. But she, and she just heard spring, spring, spring. I looked at her later and I said, oh, my gosh, she's glowing. And she says, yes, and it stays that way, and it doesn't rub off, and it doesn't, you know, get on your car seat. She's running down like a commercial to me. I said, oh, my gosh, get out of my stuff. This, is, this isn't cheap. <laughs> but it works. It works, and you will love it. You will love it. And you know another thing that I like about it? On my non-retin-A nights, when I put everything else on, and if I've, even if I've already ended it with my moisturizer, I'll still spray this over it. Just, just cause I can. And you know what? It seems like, oh my gosh, that double protection is just what's making the difference in my skin. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh. You know, you get spoiled when you find something you really like, don't you girls? You know what I'm talking about. Okay, I got a couple of pair of uh, earrings that I want to jump in and show you. And gosh, I almost forgot where I got them. Well, I didn't almost. I just about had. Aren't these cute? These are gold hoops and looks like that they have the cowhide. In fact, that's what it is. It's a cowhide fur. All I know is uh, these were a gift, but I do know where they came from. They came from Amazon. Okay, my girlfriend saw them on Amazon, so she got me a pair. And she, uh, you can put black on, and this looks adorable. And the cowhide shows through there. And I mean, the hair is, it's, you know, it's a cowhide stuff. You can feel it. Not that it came off a real cow, but you know what I'm talking about. You can tell it's a fur, you know. You can tell it's a fur. I think those are so cute. Precious. Love them. Love them. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. You know I love a girl. And then um, she got me these, and I thought they were cute. And these are 18-karat uh, gold plated. Are those not adorable? Cute, cute, cute. Yes, new earrings. And she got these in Amazon, too. The name of the company, well, I'll have it listed down below. It looks like it's Spartina or something. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about, and jump back in with the skincare. I have told you guys that we all have to use our vitamin C every morning. Well, we have to have our antioxidant as at night as well. And that is resveratrol. Resveratrol is the best of the best of the best. And I mean, this anti antioxidant night concentrate combining 1% pure resveratrol and 0.5 uh, balkalin and 1% alpha tocopherol, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But this is the SkinCeuticals Resveratrol B&E. I've been using this for years. This is the antioxidant I use at night. Numero uno. You have to have this because if you're using your vitamin C in the morning, you're using this antioxidant at night, you can't miss. You are going to be covered and protected. And not only that, what it does to your skin when you wake up in the morning, oh my gosh, this, this really gives you a glow. Talk about brightens up your face. Whoa. Yes, ma'am, and that's what we want at our age, don't we, girlfriends? And, of course, everybody knows that I... And, you know, switch off on eye creams and everything. I'll use my DEJ in the mornings, as you well know. And I trade off with the DEJ uh, with my AOX eye gel. And so this is real pretty little. It's got kind of a, I guess, coral colored little gel. And it doesn't take, you know, but about a drop. And you rub it between two of your ring fingers just like this. See how it just spreads? And then tap, tap, tap. 
all around your eyes and your orbital bone. And this stuff's great too. And the DJ is fabulous, and so is so is the gel. Now, one thing about the AOX here, if you wanted to use this both morning and night, you can. The DEJ primarily is for day, because I use the TNSI repair most of the time at night, because it's got a growth factor in it. But this is skin SkinCeuticals right here, AOX, is fabulous for day and night. You will absolutely love it. You guys know I've been talking about this for years. Years, years, girlfriends. Okay, last but not least, and I cannot begin to tell you enough. I have upped my game and I've been putting, as far as vitamins and things, I am putting more biotin. I'm taking about 2,500 units a day in this little bitty tiny pill. Since then, oh, my hair, my hair is growing out of my chin, out of my face. There's a lot of hair around my chest. No, it's not on my chest. It's all under my, especially on my chin, under my chin. But you know what? That starts hitting in menopause and it doesn't get better. But I mean, I'm finding hair right here that I didn't think I had. Anyway, I am actually exfoliating my hair almost every day and definitely every other day. So, Dermaplane, what can I tell you? This Dermaflash is my pride and joy. Um, it's my holy grail. I used to use the little Tinkle um, razors a hundred years ago and they were great, but they don't get as close as this. This gets really close. It's easy to use. You can just replace the blades, you know, by scooping them up out of the uh, carrier. One blade will cover one session. I know what you're going to say. Ooh, that could be expensive, Sharon, if you're using it all the time. Well, yes and no. Okay. Some days you, you think I can get away with, I can wait a day or two, you know. Then you won't be using up the blades. But they're always on sale, and you get a lot for your money. So, it, it, it's not going to break the bank at all. It's pricey at first to get this. It usually runs about $150. Um, you know, with a, and I think you get four or five to start blades. But I always buy extra anyway. Uh, but this, nothing gets closer than this Dermaplast. Nothing. This gets right down, I mean, all the way down. And you come out and you're smooth as a baby's butt. I love it. It comes in col different colors too, so you can get pretty pink. I think I think they have white. Of course, this this turquoise. I can't remember what else. Get it when they run sales, and they've been running a sale lately, and they'll run a sale again. And I know sometimes if you watch uh, your Facebook, you'll see ads come up there too, and they'll be for sale. Gotta have this, girlfriends. You will no longer have to mess with those tinkle razors and cut yourself or using anything else that doesn't get down deep. This gets to the heart of the problem. This is just like dermaplaning and you know when you go see your esthetician. She gets as deep as this does. I love it. Love it. Okay, the last product and because I can see I don't want to miss one, of course, is the scent that I have been wearing the majority of the summer and I will going into fall. And that's of course my YSL Black Opium. This scent, everybody raves when I wear this scent. So I'm going to have to stick with it for a while. I'm just not a floral kind of gal. It, just, it doesn't do anything for me except make me smell old, you know. I mean, I actually smell like an old closet when I wear that. I, something about my pH just doesn't work with florals. But if it's slam bang and it's potent, everybody goes, whoa, that's lovely. Ooh, ooh, ah. So I'm sticking to it, girlfriend. You know what I mean? Okay. And I did try the Tom Ford um, leather that was a unison scent. That smelled great too, but this is one of my favorites, okay? If I want heavy duty, sock it to you. Love it. Love it. All right, my ladies. Mwah!
I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you run out and get these. I'm telling you, if girlfriends, if nothing else, grab root and growl. You don't worry about the little palette with the, uh, uh, you know, the, the glittery, satiny things. This is all you need. This is what all of us need. And then if you have to have a little shimmer for your eyes, hey, girlfriends, do what I do. Use what you have, okay? Just tap a little something, something on there if you want it. Or just stay all neutral. You will love it. I want to thank each and every one of you to all my new subbies out there. Mwah, 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 mwah. So nice to meet you. Thank you for joining my tribe. To each and every one of you today, I want you to stay sassy, classy, confident. And give me a big thumbs up on this video.